Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, tonight I'm going to be showing you guys two cute kits I seen in uh, Walmart. They're Grief Value brand, and these are for Halloween. This is called the Pretzel Dipping Kit, and these are two different ones that I got. Now this one is uh, orange and black, and it comes with pretzel rods, milk chocolate flavored melting wafers, orange melting wafers, and orange and black sprinkles. And this one is dark chocolate flavored melting wafers, uh, red melting wafers, and red and black sprinkles. And both kits come with the dipping rods. Now I was also going to do the cookie kit too, but I thought I'll do that in a separate video. Um. I don't know, just to kind of like space them out a little bit. And uh, so I definitely thought, okay, let me stick with the pretzels for tonight. I can do cookies tomorrow uh, because I have to see if Techie has a rolling kin. I didn't see one, but she might, so I don't know. Um, so anywho, so uh, let's open these up. Now... It's sealed in plastic, of course, so get this one opened up. I'm opening this one up. This is the third one. Alrighty, so let's see what is in here. Okay, I think the directions are on. Yeah, they're on the side. Okay, directions are right here. Uh, right there. Yeah, I forget, I'm moving it the opposite way. Here is pretzel rods. Here is red melting wafers. And we have dark chocolate melting wafers right there and of course we have some red and black sprinkles alrighty so let's see here what do what do we gotta do set up a workstation with melting wafer tubs plenty of spoons sprinkles in a small bowl and Baking sheets covered with great value parchment paper. Heat melting wafers in a container for up to two minutes, microwave half power setting. Stirring every 30 seconds until wafers are smooth and liquid. Uh, hold a pencil rod at one end, dip it until melt the wafers cover about half of it. Then sprinkle on some sprinkles, place them on paper to harden. For marble effect, lightly stir melted wafers together, then dip. Hmm, interesting. All right, so I guess I'll be um setting setting this up. Let's uh let's get to it. All right, so first I'm gonna start with the red wafers, and it says for up to two minutes. Well, I'm gonna put it on for a minute. And then stir it good. Uh, actually, I'll stop at like 30 seconds and stir it. And I'll do that every 30 seconds till they look pretty, um, well, till they look pretty melted, you know? All right, so it took about a minute and a half for uh, the red sprinkles to actually soften. And I want to point out that once you've used about half of them, and say if you switch over to the chocolate ones, 
Um, if you want to maybe double dip with whatever red you have left, just remember it'll take less time in the microwave to actually soften up. Might only take like 15 seconds, so keep that in, in mind once you've used so much of it. So as you can see, I have two there. This one doesn't have as many on as the second one. Uh, now I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, chocolate, the chocolate. Start with a minute, stop it at 30 seconds, stir it, let it run the other 30 seconds, stir it, and if it looks like it still needs to be heated up, I'll do an extra 30 seconds like I did with the red. I wanted to show you guys, um, these are all the pretzel sticks, mm. and I still have red and milk or dark chocolate left over. Sprinkles are almost gone. Now you see these two right here that um, don't have any sprinkles. I'm going to double dip. When they're fully hard, I'm going to dip the chocolate one in the red, and the red one I'm going to dip in the chocolate. But um, I think I'm going to save the little bit that I have left over from both of these then for maybe something else that could be dipped in uh, chocolate or that. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to see. Sprinkles are just about done, so... You actually put a few more on like this last one right here um but yeah uh that's an interesting observation so yeah i'm gonna double dip these to about halfway so as you can see i double dipped these two right there um to get them to harden quicker i actually stuck them in a fridge so these are going to go back into the refrigerator for like 10 15 minutes while i work on this kit now i'm going to show you uh melting the uh, wafers but not really dipping the pretzels because you already know how i'm going to do them um i will show you though the uh finished ones and if there was any time difference with uh the orange and the milk chocolate wafers as compared with the red and dark chocolate I want to point out, guys, that the orange, I'm not as crazy about the orange wafers. Um, they don't quite seem to cover the pretzel as fully as the red wafers did. This seems to be like a thinner color, um, if that makes sense. They look garbo. <laughs> and uh, right now I'm melting the uh, milk chocolate. Now, it was the same with the orange. It was 1 minute 30 seconds, so I'm thinking it's going to be with the milk chocolate, 1 minute 30 seconds. And I'm going to leave two. Of course, then I'm going to double dip. Um, but, yeah, I mean, so far, it's, the wafers seem to be working out the actual, you know, same time. Um, just seeing that the orange is just like a thinner orange. It's more like a peach and just my opinion i don't think it really covers you could still see spots on the top of the pretzels where like it doesn't completely coat like the red did all right so these are going to go in the refrigerator for 10 minutes um you'll notice the two again that are plain they're going to be double dipped and um then we'll go back in the fridge for like five minutes more to harden and uh, then these guys will be these guys will be done i'm gonna have a little bit of chocolate and the orange left with these as well not as much though i don't think as uh the red and the dark chocolate so hmm, interesting but either way i will save that maybe i can combine them into something funky and i don't know use it for frosting on something i don't know we'll see so let me get these into the fridge. Now, before I take these other pretzel rods out of the fridge, um, you might be wondering, well, where in Walmart are these pretzel rod dipping kits located? So far, every Walmart that I have been in uh, around PA has the food and groceries on one side of the store, a long aisle in the middle, that usually has a lot of seasonal things depending on particular holiday it is. And then the rest of the store. 
like pets, household goods, clothing, whatever. So it was the middle aisle. I call it the middle aisle because it divides that part of the store. Um, going towards the back of the store is where I found the pretzel raw dipping kits and uh, the cookie kits and everything. Um, so look in the middle seasonal aisle in your local Walmart and uh, you should be able to find them. Um, as far as the cookie kits go, I have the jack-o'-lanterns to do in another video, but they also have sugar skulls um, and they also have, I believe, the bats with purple frosting. So there are several varieties of them as well. So now let's take the other pretzel rods out of the fridge. Clean up with the uh, pretzel rod dipping kits is pretty easy too. You only have two bowls um, for each of the sprinkles and a total of four spoons. Um, when you use your cookie sheets, you'll be putting wax paper or parchment paper in them. So essentially your cookie sheets get stay clean. They don't get dirty. Um, so you have real minimal cleanup from it. Uh, everything gets melted in the microwave. If you're going to do something like this with small children, um, just make sure that you supervise and maybe help them sprinkle sprinkles on and such. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very easy. And uh, it's a pretty fun activity to do with kids, really. Small kids especially, I think, would really enjoy it. The uh, milk chocolate and orange and dark chocolate with the red. And uh, there's my double dipped ones right there. And there's one of the double dipped ones there. And the other one's right over there in the end. Well, guys, they're all done. And uh, I'm probably going to be, probably going to be engaging in one of, well, you know what, no. I'm going to be eating one of these. There we go, the dark chocolate with the uh, red and black sprinkles. So if you like this video, guys, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and please hit my bell for all. So you are notified every time I do upload a new video. Take care, everyone, and I will see you all on my next one. Bye.